Welcome back to this new Pizza Ray tutorial. Today we want to create a foggy street scene. We will do some basic modeling. We will add some light and some fog to create an atmospheric scene. Let's jump right in. Okay, here we are in a fresh blender scene now and today we want to use our cube, but first let's bring in here uh, our rust. If you don't have this guy already, I will put a link into the description. Let's press N and zero. Today we want to use here um, this cube. So let's change the dimensions to two by 20 by 0.15. That's our pavement. I want to put this a little bit down to minus 0.07. So our rust is standing on this one. And now let's go ahead and bring in a plane, which will be our road here today. Let's change this to nine by 20. Let's put this a down, little bit down as well. Minus 0.13. And let's bring this a little bit to the right side by pressing G and X. And that will fit here right um, to our pavement. And now let's bring in another cube, which will be the back wall today. So let's go into the edit mode by pressing tab and alt and Z. Or you can go here to this button, which is the toggle mode. And let's select these points in the back. And I want to put them in the X to minus one point three and the front points to minus one let's select the bottom ones which should go on the zero and let's select the upper ones now which should go to 10 and now we can select the left ones and bring them to minus 10 and this one 10 this is our back wall today and, and now let's bring in a new cube again, which will uh, bool here now our windows. So uh, let's go into the edit mode again. I want to select the left ones to minus 1.5 in the Y and this here into the 1.5. Now let's press A to select them all and press G and Z and bring this a little bit up here, maybe to something like this and then G and X to bring them into the back so they will intersect here our wall. And now we can press Shift and D and bring them in the Y a little bit to maybe something like five. And this will be our, yeah, window bools here today so let's change this name to bool rename the upper stuff so pavement and street maybe let's select them all and bring them into the new collection press m for new collection and let's name it scene now we can hide here the bools for the rendering as well and select the wall and we want to add a new modifier which is a boolean and select the bool here and now we are having these two windows let's leave the uh, toggle mode and that is our scene here yeah we're having some windows and for some windows we need some glass so let's bring in here a new plane and I want to change this one here into 90 degrees. And let's push this one a little bit back. So G and X and G and Z. So it will fit here into our window. Uh, S and Y and S and Z. Something like this is okay. Let's bring in here some materials. So uh, let's change this here to shader editor bring a new one and we want to use here glass or <laughs> rename this as glass we don't need the principal bsdf so let's press x and search here for glass bsdf bring this into the surface and maybe let's change them into material view and for this one i want to use a noise texture um, yeah, to have a little bit more details here in the glass. So let's 
pipe this one into a ramp, color ramp, and bring this into the roughness. And we can see that's already starting. Let's change a little bit down the scale to four. And I want to bring a little bit down here the black slider. So we are having here some, some spots which are more reflecting and which are not. Okay, that's our window here. Maybe rename this one here as well. Shift and D and then the Y button. You can bring this over here. This will fit here into the second window. Now let's uh, change the camera. So let's hop in by pressing zero on the numpad. And I want to go here with a six by minus 12 by one and 90 by 0 by 20 and let's go ahead now with some lightning so let's bring here another viewer let's put this a little bit down today uh, i want to use cycles so let's uh, change this left thing here to um, the uh, rendered view and let's change this one from ev to cycles I want to use GPU compute. Let's go into the camera and I want to change the viewport display passport two to one. And for this one, I want to change this here. Okay, and random. And I want to select here the uh, light. Yeah, let's use the orangey, orangey color here. 1000 is okay. And let's bring this here back behind our window and put this a little bit down. Yeah, as you can see, um, the light is uh, looking good here, maybe to something like this position here so that the light is going out of the window. Sometimes you have the problem that when you're putting the light out, maybe down to something like this. And yeah, well, let's increase the radius a little bit so you can see what I mean. So maybe to one. Um, yeah, you see here <laughs> these uh, hotspot here now from the light in the windows. And if you have a room behind here, this window, maybe it's okay. Um, but if you don't want to see this, you can go here into the uh, settings and into the visibility and turn the ray visibility by transmission off. And now you don't see <laughs> this hotspot now. But as you can see, the rest of the scene is a little bit darker here. So only <laughs> the stuff here in the window is lighting up. But maybe you need this. Um, and I want to show you this. Well, let's turn the transmission back on. And I want to bring this light a little bit more here in to the back. Maybe there's a little tiny spot here in the window edge. But that's that's okay okay that's uh, our light here for the scene and we want to bring in now a cube and this one is the fog cube so let's make a new material um, and fog now let's delete the principal bsdf by pressing x and let's search shift a for a volume scatter bring this into the volume and i want to turn this a little bit down here to something grayish and the density to 0.5. Now you can see it's a little bit dark right now. And that's, maybe let's uh, go ahead here out of our camera view and you can see that we are having here some volumetric light going on because <laughs> we created here this uh, cube with the fog. As we can see, the light is coming out of the window but it's not really uh, volumetric right now and to change this um, we have to select here our uh, window and uh, go here into the settings and the ray visibility as well and we have to turn off the shadow and when we are doing this you can see i hope you can see this that um, the window is now a little bit more volumetric or the light is more <laughs> volumetric so let's do this here for this again maybe we can put this light a little bit more here uh, back into the front so maybe maybe to something like this we have a really pitch black scene um, the environment is 
uh, gray, but I like to change this to black as well. So it, now it's really, <laughs> really dark. Um, but to light this a little bit up, really slightly, um, I want to bring in here a new one, which is an sunlight. And as you can see, when we're turning this on, we're having here a little bit more light in the front. But I want to change this a little bit more to something bluish. Now we're having a little bit more contrast here right now in this part. Okay, and to bring a little bit more um, color here into the scene, we can easily go here uh, into the volume scatter and change this grayish value a little bit more, maybe to something here into the blue. And as you can see now, it starts to getting more orangey. So the way how it works is we are changing this into the blue um, the color will go into the opposite direction. So blue will go into the orangey and when we're changing this here to the pinkish, it will go more into the greenish. So keep this in mind. I think that's a really cool um, or easy technique to bring a little bit more color here into the scene. So we are having um, some fun. So um, I like to use here this bluish color more to bring this more into a orangey way okay that's it for this tutorial and i hope uh, it will help you to make your scenes a little bit more mysterious or a little bit more foggy or something like this so if you like my stuff check out and subscribe to my channel if you want to support me check out my gumroad or blender market page see you there and bye